good, so that the fire would not quench, that would not that scorch you. Why don't you come back back here? Because I will take all the pain. That means if you believe in Jesus. You know, past. And fail, I don't know. Nakakagulat nga ako ito, sabi nga ako, sa first Peter. Sabi niya, As to the salvation that prophets prophesied of the grace that would come to you, make careful search and inquire. Ibig sabihin, kahit yung mga prophets, alam na nila ito. They already knew this. Alam niyo ba paano tinistress ni Jonathan Edwards yung sorrow na ito, at distress, sabi niya, the sorrow and distress of Jesus' soul that then suffered arose from the full and immediate view which he had of the cup of wrath which was vastly more terrible than the book of Isaiah fire furnace. He had a near view of that furnace of wrath in which he was to be cast. Kaya ganun na lang, nagtutugo siya ay bakit? Kasi he would take the sin of the world upon himself. Sabi nga ni Albert Camus, Christ the God-man suffers too. Evil and death can no longer be entirely imputed to him since he suffers and dies. The night on Golgotha is so important because the divinity ostensibly abandoned its traditional privilege and lived through to the end, despair included the agony of death. Amazing, no? Now, ano yung ating future? Ito yung future natin. Because of such blood, such pain that Jesus Christ took, itong effects natin. Sabi niya, okay, isusuko. Pag nagtayong pagsuko, kaya ako isusuko. Bakit? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to His great mercy, has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to obtain, in other words, an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away, reserved in heaven, para you know, for you. Wow! You know, tell me, kaya nga kayong pinangalak sa pamilya ko eh. Kasi para meron kayong mana at yun ang akabangan nyo. Ano sabi niya? The living hope, buhay na pag-asa. Ano niya mga tao, they would give up pag wala silang pag-asa. Pero may pag-asa ka with all the pain? Ah, di ba rin? Ha? Para alam niyo, kanyari, talagang nagbay, gano'n mayroon tayo. Yung mga nandibig ako kasi bayon, ang ahatid ka mo, gabing gabi, tapos pag-siksikan, pa-uwi, pag-uda kabuti, di ba? Bakit? Umaasa sa isang araw, kaya'y akin ka. Gano'n ba? Di ba? Hello? So, ngayon lang ako kasi eh. Buhay yun. Eh, naman ako, buhay na buhay, bakit ka mo? Kasi si Jesus ang nangako eh. Ano yun, parang mga kapitinis. Even si Jesus Christ, tingnan niyo ang papana, papaliwan sa iyo, papana. Yung, yung excitement na ito. In a moment, sabi ng Bible, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised in perishable, and we will be changed. Wow! Mapapalit na tayo. Kung nangyayinis sa mukha mo ngayon, maraming tigawak, tanggal yan. Ano yun, tanggal yan? Yung mga speech of death, tanggal yan. Yung mga imperfection, ganyan, tanggal yan. Yung mga baksu sa mantika, tanggal yan. For this perishable must be put on imperishable, the mortal must be put on immortality. But when this perishable will have put on the imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immortality, then we will come will come about the saying that sin and death is swallowed up in victory. Tama na para ito kung matayo to, ito kung immortal na to, pagkakaini ng immortality, mawala na na. Tignan niya ha, ang sabi niya, Oh death, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your speak? Is your speak? Lahat ang tao, takot sa kamatayan. Minsan nasetay niyo, pero pag nang nabalita ako kagad, Uy, may cancer ka. Oh, fucking God. Ang faithful is a joke. Cancer. Minsan gano'n nangyari sa akin eh. Naku, ano niyo? Kasi may takot, pero ngayon, Oh death, hi, kamatayan. Anong pinagmamayaman mo? Sabi niyo gano'n. Sabi niyo gano'n, Where is your speak? Wala ka ng kamandag. Sabi niyo gano'n. And the of course, the state of death is sin, the power of sin is the law, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Huwag okay, ibig sabihin niyan. Ito. Ewan ko kung ano. Imagine niya, imagine niya ito. Isipin niya sa gali ang mahal sa buhay. Yung pinakamahal sa buhay. Isipin niya. Isipin niyo na sila ay pinatay. With a horrible crime na hindi lang pinatay, hinati-hati ng kinuti. Pinakamamahan mo yan, nangyari. Ano ang pain ang nararamdaman mo? Ah. <laughs> Hindi, para ano ba din mo, tama? Tapos bigla, siguro po, biglang, <laughs> yan, pagising ka. <laughs> Panaginip lang ka. Tapos katabi mo ngayon, bigla yung tao, yung pinakamamahan mo, na 
na ano, na pinamatay. Katabi mo pala, buhay pa, huminga. <laughs> Kasi makakala mo si kasasak siya, dudugdurog, ano lang pala, snoring. No? <laughs> Kaya alam mo yan, pakakita mo sa kanya, parang, oh, yung saya mo, oh my God, oh my God. Parang nilamon lahat ng lungkot mo at takot dahil buhay siya. Lahat ng iyak mo, lahat ng pain mo sa number at the resurrection of our lives in Christ Jesus. Wow! Parang nilamon lahat ng lungkot mo. Para ba yung kalangasan ni Joseph? Kinulong, diba? naging natulog, kinulong, binenta ka sa sin. Tapos bigla naging prime minister, lahat ng pait ng nakaraan, nilamon ng kanyang promotion being the prime minister. Naman eh. Hello, hindi pa eh. Kaya eternal life, ang resurrection natin, hindi yan kabayaran ng ating ginawa. It is the restoration of all things. Parang ibinabalik ng Diyos yung totoo niyang design sa The Garden of Eden na ang ganda-ganda ibinabalik niya sa iyo what you truly, parang what you really own from the very beginning of creation. Is that what you're doing? Kung yan, lahat sana ng yaman na para sa iyo. Parang ba, mayaman ka, tapos pwede ng buhay ka sa kahirapan, tapos nakilala ko yung magulang mo, ang tagal, ma-ima. Biglang, wow! Diba? Biglang, lahat ng pait, biglang nilamon, binabalik sa iyo ng Diyos, what we truly own. Kaya sabi ni, sabi ni ano, Dostoyevsky, ulit, balik ako lang tayo, sabi niya, I believe like a child that suffering will be healed and made up for that all the humiliating absurdity of human contradictions will vanish like a beautiful mirage, like a despicable fabrication of the impotent and infinitely small Euclidean mind of man, that in the world's finale, at the moment of eternal harmony, something so precious will come to pass that it will suffice for all hearts, for the comforting of all resentment, for the atonement of all the crimes of humanity, for all the atonement of all the crimes, I'm sorry, for all the blood that they shed, that it will make it not only possible to forgive, but to justify all that has happened. Ano lahat ang sinod na nai hindi din naman ang bakit sa Christ Jesus Christ. And now God has given you the same privilege. And finally, the thing of you too, sabi niya, I present, it was revealed then that they were not serving themselves, but you in these things which now have been announced to you. Through those who preach the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit, sent from heaven. Tignan niya, things into which angels to look. Itong gospel na ito, parang napaka-busy gospel, receiving Jesus, hindi, tignan niya yung mga angels. Which angels long to look. Alam niyo ba yung children long to look? Yung long doon, from the Greek word ni Pituria, ang ibig sabihin ng term, obsessive to see. Kung baga sa term niya sa sexual, it was, they were lasting. Gusto mo gusto na makita. Bakit ba yung gusto gusto na makita? Parang gusto gusto na makita how the world would be saved by Jesus Christ. Kasi, sila na lahat eh. Lahat tayo sila na eh. Wala na pag-asa. Ganun na lang ang pag-asa. Tayo, bisa parang nilabalwala natin yan, pero hindi natin itin yan. Parang sa kanila, sobrang excited na because they know something in eternal na talagang mind-boggling. Ano yan? Tingnan niya, even Jesus Christ, He was looking for that living hope. Dito, gising na kayo for the last time. Okay, okay, di lang may matamang. Sandi rin. Huwag ka mo naman naginip. Sandi rin, sandali lang. Ito yun, tingnan niya, bakit? Ano ba yun? Look up for Jesus, for example. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of faith. Tingnan niya, sandi rin, sandali lang. For who for the joy set before him and do the cross when he was suffering towards the cross. Cross pa lang hirap. Kung naman hindi yung passion. Paano ka na-endure that he was hoping to be with the Father again? No. He was saying, ito, ito yan. Yung fulfillment of prophecy. Pag binasa niya sa Isaiah 53 about his suffering, ano yung paano niya he overcame? Ito sabi niya, by his knowledge, the righteous one my servant will justify the many and he will bear the iniquities. Ano siya sabi niya? This is my hope. Kaya nung mga pinakapak. Kasi dapat patay na siya sa plano pa lang. But he need to die on the cross. Otherwise, hindi pa papayang ang kasama natin. Kaya ang demonyo, tinatay niya na siya patayin. Doon pa lang sa plaging. Eh, hindi na matay. Tapos pinapay cross. Iis siya kahit yan. Tapos pinasa na kasi mo. Tapos iis na natin para makating sa cross. Para makating sa cross. Bakit? 
Because he was thinking about you. He was thinking about me. He was thinking about us. So that this is my only, this is my little boy. That I can bring them back to heaven with me in eternity. Kaya nga, at present, if you don't have that hope to see Jesus in eternity, to be with Jesus, at hindi siya italang presyo mo sa buhay, you will not endure the sufferings, the trials of this life. Magkakadina tayo, mga nanay, bakit ko tinitiis ang pagbubuntis at pagkatapos, mga anak na napakasakit? Sabi nga nila, hindi ko alam kung ano na alam tayo. Hindi pa ako na anak, pero... Di ba? Mas gawa. Bakit? At pagkakita. Di ba? Pero yung mga asas sa sasagod, nakamukha ng tatay nila. Di ba? Nakakano yun? Kahit si Lord, hindi. He was looking at you. You are my hope. Because you know what? He does not have in heaven right now. Wala ka pa sa kanya. And when he was dying, he was thinking about it. He was thinking about it. Kaya nalangin ka above all. Above all. Para rin mo naman ang isip. Okay po. Nakatao lang, sa dami ng pagsubok sa buhay, yun lang din ang isip ko. Hindi mo ako sinuko eh. Hindi mo ako sinuko. Pero at sino ko ang mamahal sa akin tulad ng pag-ibig mo. Tayo po natin yung mga pag-ibig sa akin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father God. Thank you for the privilege that we can identify with you in your suffering. Not only that you are willing to suffer in this world, but, but to always remember, to be, always be reminded that you suffered for us. That we will always think of what you have endured in order for us to be saved. What you have endured in order for us, Abba, to persevere in this world. Knowing, Lord Jesus, that we cannot avoid suffering because of sinfulness of men. But thank you that though that when, when we look at the cross, you may not answer our questions about traveling, but it always answers, Father God, the fact that you will never leave us nor forsake us when we are going through various trials. Okay, thank you, Lord, for this assurance. And thank you, Jesus, that by believing in you, you are allowing us to understand when, Father God, the sufferings you have on the cross and even the sufferings we're experiencing in this world. Thank you, Lord. May we not abandon the faith that you have given us. May we continue to enjoy the adventure of faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you and good afternoon.